everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you my collection of leather A6 covers. I will do a, uh, another video for my Hobonichi A6 covers. A6 is my favorite size. It's not too big, not too small. I like when I journal not being in the journal forever. And then, as you know, that's also the size for my illustrated journal, which I realize is not here. So we'll get that. Um, and I will turn you around and show you each one of them. I have several makers, Sojourner, The Calorite, Chic Sparrow, Speckle Fawns in my bag, because I was taking it with me, and Eternal Leather Good, which I still haven't tried. So I have it, but I haven't used it yet. So let me turn you around, stay tuned. So here is my stash of covers. One I was gonna sell and didn't sell, and I decided to keep it for now. It's fine. Um, I didn't. I was gonna post it on Facebook, but not now. I don't feel the need for it. So let's start with I guess um, Shakespeare. I have this cover which I absolutely love. Usually my five year goes between the Sojourner and this Earl Grey Deluxe. Look, look at this leather it's so shiny and beautiful I absolutely love this cover this is one of those that um, I will never part with it's so beautiful oh the Earl Le Grey leather is the best um, and this one is the Moreland it's also the Austin collection if I didn't mention it and I got this one later on it has that um, new design I have to admit I don't know all the design names and I'm not making the time to find out, but both of these are very shiny and they patina and you can see all the marks. This one went in my purse a lot more and you can see there's like some keys, um, made some scratches, but yeah, it's also much older. So that's that. Um, the other maker I have two covers from is the Calorite Diamond. I have this one, which is in the Old Boots Leather. I think <laughs> and I absolutely love it it obviously has been used quite a bit and then I have this one that I designed uh, for him and that one is the I want to say camel leather or nude leather but I will um, double check and write it down here and this is where my journal is um, currently which is the paper mood and I put one of my stickers it's not even attached I just put it in the cover um, and this is yeah paper mood so it's tomorrow over paper I really love this so far and yeah that's look how the right then I have three from three different makers I have the travel trifold with the designer pocket from sojourner uh, if you've been uh, with me for a while, you know one of my first covers was this same one. It's the Caribou leather, but without the pocket. And then I don't know where it went. Maybe one day I'll move out of this place and find it. I still hope so because there's n negative of my um, a portrait of my dad in it. And this has my five-year Hobonichi, which um, this is the last year. And yeah, I love this one. I can still um, put a thinner. This is not... I think she sells some that are specifically for five year this is actually the regular one the only difference is I'll wrap uh, a, lo a lot more on a thinner book and I do love it I, I love this uh, this cover this design from her and then I have this from eternal leather good and my camera always has a hard time <laughs> focusing on this leather I think it's because of the pebbles I don't know um, but this one I've received it's been in a drawer and then you can see it's already tanned that's so funny um, I haven't quite used it yet so I don't know there's something about this one that I love because it's rigid there's a rigidity to it like it's not I don't know it's a little thicker and this one is a little thin it's also quite thick so this is one that um, I am planning once this gets a little bit thicker I will probably switch and try it and see how I like it but I do love this leather it's their Italian pebble natural leather I think um, and yes it comes that light and then it can turn this <laughs> dark <laughs> if you use it a lot and leave it in the sun the last one that I have in my collection is speckle fonts and it's really grown to be one of my favorite covers um, the leather is exquisite and the design is just really um, 
beautiful it's just really sturdy even though i don't put anything in the zipper i love that there's a little zipper thing i don't know and in that i have my illustrated hobonichi with one of my postcards on it and i won't show you the inside but i have been better about keeping up with this one this year than i have the one last year i was looking through last year's and there's so many blank pages so far in this one i think i have a couple in february that i haven't filled out and i'm pretty caught up except for a few days here and there so yeah this has been it's been very nice so yeah if you're in the market if any of these um, appeal to you as you notice they're all travelers notebook i don't think i have oh no this one is a folio yeah this one just slipped oh no it has an elastic i prefer having an elastic in general um i don't know why but i prefer it when i order from um locale or right i always ask for one and then of course um Shig sparrow i usually only get the traveler's notebook and for the, um sojourner she does have a trifolio but i much prefer the travel trifold um for me but this gives you a little bit of an idea if you're in the market for a six size covers i will do a video of my hobonichi covers which are obviously um, i don't have any leather hobonichi cover i purchased one years ago and i did not like the quality of the leather it felt generic i don't know um but i know there's some that i've seen pop here and there since that look pretty nice so maybe someday i just i think i have enough so yeah what are your favorite um makers and do you use a6 at all uh, and thanks for watching bye bye